everyone. Let me turn that bad boy off. All right. Funny seeing you today. Uh, decided to do some work on cam here. Um, I've already done my long tones and scales, so the really, really boring stuff is done. <clears throat> so today I'm going to work on uh, uh, shoring up my routine, crushing it. Um, it's a relatively simple scale that I'm working on. I do a new scale every five days. Today is day three of F major, which means I start to move my tempo from fast to really fast. But what I'm really looking for is uh, evenness and beautiful control over my technique up and down the instrument, which also translates into uh, uh, how I play roughly anything. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do two octave modes of F major, starting on the lowest note of my horn, which is E, low E. Mm. I'm going to go two octaves at a time up and down within the key of F major. So B flats everywhere, everything else natural. Looking for a really, here I am, 80 subdivision on. Just an easy tour up and down for two octaves at a time. Like this. As I continue, stay on the back side of the metronome and really just make it as beautiful and as even as possible. That's all I'm worried about. An even, beautiful, flowing, easy technique. 80 is not fast. We're going to go twice this fast today, so here I am on G now. Still two octaves at a time. So what I'm really looking for is for the instrument to sound like it's one long horn, right? So that this bottom sound goes all the way to the top and back to the bottom without any real huge change in timbre. The clarinet obviously has different ranges that we play in that are very uh, distinct, but you want to try to make that really one instrument sound from top to bottom. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start to do the put the scale in context here. I'm at 100. Still with a subdivision on it, right? <clears throat> I like to keep the subdivision on anywhere 
100 and below, and above 100 I start to take it off. But for now, this is where I'm going to start F major as an actual scale today. Alright, so, easy, flowing, listening to my tone the whole time, really trying to place every note exactly where it belongs. Let's see how well I do. <laughs> some unevenness occasionally. I'm going to give that another run of four. I try to put four to five reps per breath. Um, tax my, my output a little bit. subdivision we're at 120 now same thing two big breaths at least four reps per breath nice and relaxed nice and easy <clears throat> even though we're getting faster I'm I'm assuming that my hands are going to do what I need them to do because I've been asking them to do it and so far they're they're pretty much doing it so I'm not concerned about the tempo the tempo is going to come like you're going to see I'm going to make it come but <laughs> Uh, most important is how even and beautiful it sounds all the way up and down. If it's not even, what are you doing? You know, if you're not in control of the instrument all the way up and down, then you're actually not in control of anything. You want to place every hand, every, every part of every hand down exactly when you feel good about it. That's what this is all about. Uh, 120. <laughs> Not bad. Never rushing the metronome. You know, you want to stay as far on the back side of the beat as you possibly can. Rushing is for suckers. You should take every millisecond of every beat and lay as far back into it as you possibly can. Here we go, another rep, 120. Mm. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to retake. Here we go. Same thing, 140, still looking for beauty and evenness, speed will be there. I still like how I'm on the back side of the beat. I'm not rushing. 
I like how it's getting fast, but it's still, it's still I, I'm putting my fingers up and down exactly where I want to. Nice. Same thing. Tomorrow I go to 160 for this. Today I'm going to go to 150. Halfway there. Ooh, 150. Same thing. Four reps per breath. Five reps per breath now. sound and an even technique all the way up and down and you pay attention to that that's where speed comes from not from going fast but from control yeah I'll take requests but I don't know shit okay so I will not take requests at the moment though because I'm in the middle of something thank you though if you leave it I'll be happy to work on something for you <clears throat> but I got work to do, buddy, and I have to do it. I really think of this like a boxer or a uh, an MMA fighter go doing their road work, doing their running and 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 cardio and and all of that, really getting themselves in the best shape to go into the fight. All right, so now I'm gonna move on to my arpeggio. Here we are in F major, back to 100. Subdivision on. Still looking for evenness, beauty, control, all the way through. Thank you. 
Now, I'm going to go halfway between 100 and 1. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I could do that. Okay, so, um... Should get the bass clarinet up for that. Give you some really good funky bass lines. So now I'm going to do uh, slur two, tongue two. Two tongue two now for you. Here you go. Same thing, off by one sixteenth note. Tongue one, slur two, tongue one. Brock Sushi. I'm Manhattan Sushi, buddy. All right. And last one, tongue two, slur two. That's such a characteristic clarinet articulation the slur two tongue two that I, I do put that into my scale work every day with the articulate uh, with the arpeggios uh, these are mostly what I'm doing right now is uh, straight up from the Behrman scale book which you can um, easily get in a lot of different editions um, it's a very old scale book from the 1800s but it's pretty much like the the Bible but what I I, I I realized that jazz players really know their instruments really well, so I decided, I'm not looking at any music here, I, I decided to uh, to memorize most of the Behrman scale book some time ago. Uh, but I only do specific exercises. I do the scale, I do the arpeggio, I do uh, interrupted scale, and I do thirds, and that's it. Um, but that's from Behrman. Uh, B-A-E-R-M-A-N-N. Okay, 120. Same thing. Slurs. Uh, take it off the articulation. Hi, Quentin, by the way. I didn't look at the name, I didn't notice that was you. I hope you're doing well. Alright. And today we're going to finish at 130. Tomorrow, all the way up to 140. We're at 130 now. an A on that. I, uh, what I, again, to circle back of what I'm looking for here, I, I, for myself, the speed is what is going to come. I'm looking for evenness and beauty all the way up and down. Uh, and, and that was pretty close. Uh, and um, the other thing I want to add is that it's awfully easy to go up for the top and really reach for that high F. Even physically. Try, try to avoid doing that. Try to just keep nice and settled and even go lower into your body for that high F. You really don't want to lunge.
challenge for any of that whatsoever. All right, going back to 100, putting my subdivision on. Goink. Uh, interrupted scale, same thing. I'm really looking for evenness. And in this case, I'm really looking, doing that in a specific way. If, if, I, if I were to take the subdivision off, I'm not thinking of like, this is how this, this, this exercise sounds. Etc. But I'm not thinking this. If I were to articulate it, that would be, it really doesn't lead itself to evenness. What I'm looking, thinking about is the second note I'm thinking. And sometimes I'll even just do that for myself. And then you really, when you're thinking ba da 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 da, that leads to actual evenness, All right? Not fake evenness, because we're going to take this into speed, right? One hundred. Back with the subdivision on discipline. fingering I'm, I'm half holding uh, da, 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 and for the high G I just overblow this high this high B fingering now there are a couple things it's just a little squirrely you could obviously just do this but to get it back down is kind of weird I love this high high B overblow It almost always works for me. So let me do this again at 100. Even, easy, beautiful. time because I haven't put two one two good ones together yet and it really it, it, if it's the difference between doing one too few reps and one too many reps you should always err on the side of doing one too many and if I felt like I left a good rep out there that I that I still have in me then I got I got I got to do that so clearly the top of this the very top of this is somewhat tricky I'm just really trying to keep my hands really under control and still thinking about that beauty and evenness all the way up to the high G. subdivision. Same thing. Easy, beautiful, slow. Drag the metronome. Okay, 
I rushed the top a bit. I'm going to try to keep it under good control this time. top area my fingers start to get a little jumpy and start to be like Arr! they really want to go for it I really have to pull myself back from just rushing rushing to get to get through those top notes really want to just keep as slow as possible so here's my top tempo for this today 130 yeah, ba -ba 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 -ba. All right, here we go same thing getting fast now but I'm not worried about that Couple little weird things, let me try again. for good luck. I gave myself a B. All right, now I'm going to do thirds. That's going to finish off the Bearmon part of this. Then I'm going to move into Crutch. Oh, Jesus. All right, here are 100 again. Subdivision on for thirds, please. Thirds. tricky because up here you've got this B flat that always gets a little it could be you really really just want to sort of keep that in keep that B flat in your mind to not be sloppy on if that's the easiest spot 120 now ah, no subdivision Excuse me. 
finally fixed that shit in that rep. Good. All right. Finish this off at 1.30. Uh, bada boom, bada bing, bada bing, bada swing, bada bing, bada swing. It takes a little bit of mental organizing at that tempo, but tomorrow I'm going to go up for one more, one more, one more notch to 140. I'm just going to swab out, take a quick sip of water, uh, wet my reed, and uh, then I'm going to move on to the second half of what I'm doing for this session. I hope everybody's doing good today. I'm doing great myself here in New York, chilling out with. Nobody walking by my apartment. Very quiet outside. Uh, very kind of weird. Not kind of weird. Really fucking weird. You know, today is what? Sunday at 1 o'clock. Normally I live near the park. I'm a block away from the park, Central Park here. Normally on a Sunday like this. Ooh, it's like Grand Central Station in here, but... With the, uh, with the quarantine on, I haven't seen anybody walk by since I started working today. All right. All right. So now I'm going to work on... Oh, wait a minute. I should do some of this. First of all, let me celebrate getting through my scales. All right. Yeah. Maybe I should give myself like a... Oh, I don't know, like a couple of spotlights or something. Warm, warm myself up a little bit. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, uh, uh, oh. Okay, that's enough of that shit. But what I am doing is I'm going to work now on a group of exercises by Fritz Krepsch. So um, this is a Russian edition of the Krepsch uh, that I got online. Um, and so what we're looking at here is two pages of exercises in F major. Starting up here with 16th notes, moving all the way down here through 30 seconds. Um, oh shit. And then finishing off, it's hard to do this backwards, with, uh, with all of this shit. Um, so I'm going to go through all of this at one tempo. Um, tomorrow that will be 60 from front to back. I'll just start at 60 with the metronome and keep going. Oops, where am I? Um, and then uh, for the next two days after that, I'll be doing that. But for today, I'm going to do this at 55, no subdivision, four reps per line or per exercise. <clears throat> now I'm trying to integrate what I was working with with the scales into a, a more um, uh, more context and actual music. So now I'm going to start to put together these scalar exercises with more of an intent for phrasing and legato okay all right fantastic but this is what i do every day i do not stray from this routine for me i need it um it makes me so much better it makes me so much better 
I feel completely in control of my instrument all the time, which is very comforting because, you know, there have been many times in my life where I stepped out on stage and felt, oh my God, what in the shit? What is going to happen here? I feel prepared, but who knows? Now I feel prepared and I feel like I know. That's the big difference if you do. I've been doing this for years now, and if you do this daily for years, forget about it. You will be bulletproof, unbeatable. Like me! All right, so here I am. Do, do, do. Do I still have it? Oh, I do. Uh oh, little maker's mark over here. Give it up for maker's mark. All right, so here I am, taking my metronome all the way back to 55. No subdivision. Boink. And I'm just going to play. Tomorrow I'll try to set it up so that perhaps um, you can look at this and I'll play at the same time. But right now I can't do it. Deceptive, right? So it sounds slow and easy, and I guess on some level it is. Um, but on the real level, that shit is hard because you want every note to speak exactly the right way, exactly when you want, with the exact right sound, with the exact phrasing that you want to get through. It's actually a lot to think about. So that's why I really love these exercises, especially giving four chances at each line is that it gives me an opportunity to really be more perfect. I'm trying to sound like the entire time. I'm trying to sound like one, most importantly, Harold Wright, who used to be the principal clarinet in the Boston Symphony, and two, Robert Marcellus, who used to be the principal clarinet of the Cleveland Orchestra. They're both fucking dead now, but really for me, they were the, the, the real examples of beautiful, controlled, core, core built cl American clarinet playing. So, trying to make it as beautiful, as legato as that. Drag the metronome, never rushing. Making that beautiful articulation staccato at that tempo is actually fucking hard. Just gotta pay attention. Everything has to be beautiful.
Yeah, and I like to use this particular high F finger here. Um, there are a couple ways that you could do it here. The traditional fingering for high F is this, right? This plus this and the E flat key. Sometimes with the sliver key in case it's a little uh, flat. Usually that F is a little flat. Sliver key brings it up. I actually, in these exercises, like to use... Um, it's like uh, I've got the register key. I'm playing like a oh, G sharp A flat, and I'm venting this A key at the same time. And I can really get some very feathery and in tune high Fs by doing that. No, no, no E flat key. Yeah. So it fits here. I mean, come on. What do you want from a high F? All right. Large intervals for this one. I'm going to do it two ways. I'm going to do it separating uh, and then very legato. You'll see. <laughs> but that's okay. Did I just run out of battery? Oh, I ran out of battery. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Because here on my desk, I have my nine volt soldiers all lined up, ready to fucking go in the next. You're not going to stop me, dead battery. Your face. Now, same thing. Look out all the way through. things. I'm going to go for a side, uh, actually a, a regular D flat first and then sec uh, side D flat when I repeat. Sextuplets now, baby. We're done with like the uh, we're done with the sixteenth note area of our program, and now we're moving on to the faster area of our program. Same thing, even and controlled, sticking exactly at the same tempo. Thank you. 
F again. some faster shit, but I don't care. Try to keep it slow. Super even. 30 second notes. <laughs> Well, this one has some tricky shit in it, but I think it'll be all right. There's a, I'll play it first and I'll tell you what's up. It's that last bit, right? That goes up to this high G. actually tricky. I'm using this high G fingering with one and three, one and two, one, three, one, two. Not really making that a big deal out of that high G. I don't want it to poke out. I just want it to be there. to let this one run away from you. So you really want to keep it right in there.
change this because of the subdivision. We're in three now, but same tempo. this bitch off with a little Alberti bass practice here. Sounds like this. This is the last one here, right here. Oh. This bottom one. I'm going to really just kind of push the tempo with these 30, uh, 64th notes. I'm going to go to it literally fast enough that I can't do it anymore. In increments. so dopey, it's so stupid. Let's do it again. All right, now we're at 40, which means that <clears throat> we're at 160 to the quarter here. play us out. Speak English. How about a little Schubert? And then we'll be done.
you tomorrow. Or see you later today, actually. I'm going to bust out some etudes. Be crushing. Oh, shit.